Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Kieran the Barber and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Afro-Caribbean hair. I'm going to be doing a high top and the tools I'm going to be using are my Andis fades and my Andis clipper comb. They'll be my main tool throughout. I really hope you enjoy the video. Um, I hope you learn something from it. Please like, subscribe, um, leave me feedback whether it be positive or negative and I hope you enjoy the video. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Right, so first things first, make sure your client has their head all the way down. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be blending it quite high. With, an, with a high top you have to take the blend, all, well I do it, all the way straight, all the way around and then you blend the high top in. So what I do is I'd fade into a fade and then you fade the high top up. So I'm going to start at 0 0.5. All the way up. So this is coming up real high. This is real, real high for me. And you take that all the way around on a 0 0.5 first. I might even take this a little bit higher. I'm just um just getting a rough guideline because it's there's absolutely loads of hair. But with my fade masters, the difference between a fade masters and the US Pro is just quickly. Um, is their heads? One has a pivot, so one has a clear pivot, and the other has a surgical flat blade for getting them fades nice and tight, nice and in as the pivot. The pivot will rotate off of the hair. So that is a little tip for when buying these two different types of clippers, which ones do you want? It's whichever one suits your suits your best. I like the fades for more afro hair because they cut right in and they get flat to the scalp. Especially for doing high tops. Because you've got that flat blade, it's almost like having a flat top when you're freehanding and coming up and out. So that helps me absolutely loads. Right, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the skin at the bottom. So I'm going to turn my fade masters right the way down. Pretty much, I have not zero gap these. I have not touched these. These, these get real close, and they're sharp as well. Um, they are my favourite fading tool um, because they have the flat surgical blade on them, and you can just literally get so close to the skin. And you can fade so much easier. On a pivot, it's slightly harder because you're, you're doing that C motion. With these clippers, you don't need to do the C motion. You just come up, and they will fade themselves because they're they're completely flat to the skin. So what I'll do is I'll take this to a zero all the way around. and then I'll raise it ever so slightly to like a quarter. Again, I'll just come up. And you can see that's already taken that bulk out. It's starting to blend that in. Right, so I'm just gonna take this to skin just around the ears and stuff. Again, only coming up ever so slightly. Always, never, never ever taking skin past there because you always want them edges to look nice and sharp regardless of whether you're doing a half or one. In number 15, you need to do the zero nice and low so everyone can see how sharp your edges are. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re 
Just comb everything out, just so I can get that out. So I know where I can start fading from. And what I do is I get my client's head and I make it as straight as possible. I put my clippers on a 0.5 grade. I don't do it on a zero, but it's just my personal preference. Um, maybe because I'm a bit nervous about still until I can get confident with doing it on zero. So I start off with 0.5 and I literally come from the head and I come straight up. I literally take that all the way around. And what I'll do is afterwards, I'll comb it back out and I'll do it again. And I'll comb it back out and I'll do it again. I'll debulk it the sides, exactly the same. I'm, I'm putting the camera at this angle, so you can see how flat I'm getting. So what I'm doing is I'll start from the middle again. Just come up. And what you have to do with the corners, the corners of the afro, i.e. that bit there, that bit there, that bit there, follow the hair, follow the hairline, follow the head direction. So if the head's turning slightly, you turn with the head. And that's how you get that circular motion, that's how it goes into the afro. It makes it look fucking awesome. I forgot to say that you also have to have a really steady hand for this. Can't be shaking around this. People are going to get dodgy afros all over the place. It's never, ever, ever good. Right, now with the front of the afro, exactly the same procedure, except for you're not going to be blended into a 0.5, you're going to be blended into the shape up. So you want to start from shape up and literally come up.
now we've got our rough shape in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Proline. I'm just going to spray the hair down. What Proline is, Proline is an oil sheen. For me, what it does is just sort of, I say, wets the hair slightly, it oils the hair slightly, so it gives it shape a little bit more. If you can see, I'm just pulling that out, it's just coming out of shape again, so I can get my final, final shape in there. So when that lays, that will lay nice and flat and not all over the place. As you can see, I did that nice and straight, but now I've pulled it all back out, it's not so nice and straight. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my Fade Masters again. Just put your head nice and straight for me. I'm just gonna re-go re over that to make sure it is as straight as possible. And then this will be the final cut for the fro. And then we can make a start on the top, which is the fun part. And then what we'll do after the top is we'll go into the shape up. And then we are done. It's not as hard as people think, I, I don't think anyway. I don't think I'm making it look easy. I think I'm probably making it look harder than what it is, but it isn't as hard as people make out. It's doable. And I hope someone does learn from this and I hope someone does pick up um, pick up a pair of clippers and, and just gives it a try. I'll definitely say though, if anyone does give it a try, it's well worth investing in a pair of these and this fades. For me they're they are my favourite, as I said before, they're my favourite fade clipper. Whenever I'm fading or doing anything, it just makes my life so much easier. <laughs> now that was good. Right guys, now what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using the Andis Ionicas. Because um, they're wireless and they go straight through the top, there's no wires getting involved or anything. So what I want to do is, I just want to start from front to back front to back, front to back, and then I'm just going to come across the side. It's almost like cross-sectioning, cross-checking. Here we go. It's time to shape the hair up. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using my Andis T outline as the British version. I've just obviously I've I've detached the shaver head and I've put on my my T outline ahead. Nice and easy to sort of clip on and off.
pressure with his edges. Make sure you just don't corners bringing them down. Nice and simple. Best thing about these clippers, the wire. Look how thick that wire is. That wire is not breaking, snapping, moving. You get a lot of clippers these days. I'm not going to obviously mention any names because that's wrong. But you do get a lot of clippers these days um, that their wires break. I had a pair of mini clippers, I'm going to call them, and I had to replace their wire four or five times. They are, they're a good set of clippers, but the wires are absolutely terrible. I've had these seven months. There's not even a crack or a fracture or anything in these wires. Just to oil up the face slightly so obviously the skin doesn't get rashy. Right everyone, so what now? Now it's finished and everything's done. Styling product. Again, a little bit of proline, what you do is you literally spritz the hair with proline to make it nice and soft. And then what you do is you literally just flatten it out slightly so it just sits nice and well, making sure you've got everything in place. I'll just spray it again for good measure. And that, my friend, is my version of an Afro-Caribbean high top. I hope you all enjoyed my video. If you do, please like, subscribe, comment, leave me any feedback, any help to help making this easier would be great as well, because um, I'm, I'm new to this. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh. Yeah.